There are names, there are titles, there are legends and tales of strength, but only a sure will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. There are names, there are titles, there are legends and tales of strength. Only a sure will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. Hear me. You want a generation to hear your voice? It's more than posting videos on social media. Now I'm saying this respectfully speaking. I want to help my precious generation get out of that garbage and invest in the spirit. It takes more than just telling people I am here. There is a track record in the spirit. Let me tell you, if heaven does not sign upon your life, you will waste your time for nothing upon the earth. You believe that people will just come and give you finances like that? Everybody will not dash you. You have to understand the financial system of the kingdom. God can raise men to support you. But you believe that men will be the ones to run your, your life financially? Go and find out how finances work. And bring rest to your life once and for all. The anointing, you need to go and stay with God find out the various wells in the spirit and the skill to fetch and draw from them mm. not every well works the same way just because you learned how to fetch from a particular well the bible says wells of salvation there are different skills to fetch so you will see people who are operating at different frequencies in the spirit is because they have mastered how to draw from the spirit Hallelujah. The sacrifice of fasting, the sacrifice of prayer, the sacrifice of honoring the voice of God, even at your inconvenience. I cannot have told you, I don't know how many times God has given me painful instructions. Give this, empty this, do this. And sometimes it does not make sense. I shared with you my story last year. When God gave an instruction to sow a seed, I knew that a season was coming and God was opening me up. It was a new dimension in the spirit. I've taught you how to discern when seasons come to an end. An unusual desire to pray. An unusual desire to give. Unusual attack from the kingdom of darkness. These are signs that tell you a season is coming to an end. You don't want to be around people again. Something just isolates you to be alone. is because the master wants to speak to you. And if you don't understand these writings, you will keep wasting your time. There are things God will never tell you in public. You need to painfully know how to stay alone. Then his voice comes. Hallelujah. And God gave me an instruction. First, to bring a serious seed as a ministry and to sow. That seed itself was, I can tell you sincerely, at any level it will touch you. And then, then came the bigger instruction. And I'm saying this because I want you to understand. It's not to brag at all. God now told me that what I told the ministry to give, you give twice that amount. Huh. When you give Ishmael, you can drive him in one day, go away. But when God says to give Isaac... It will touch you all. Isaac will touch you. Isaac bar will touch you. But you see, I've walked with God a bit. And I know that every time God says, open your hand, it's not because of what is there. It's, about, it's because of what he's bringing. And with that sacrifice, I, I rejoiced in my pain as I honored God. God forbid that he will speak and I will not listen to him. Ladies and gentlemen, the rest is history. Another dimension opened for me that till forever. Listen, people do not just rise. 
the sacrifice of paying the price to build are you willing to go through it for someone god can just call you and say every night for the next three months i want to meet with you 12 to 3 it is me and you alone that is my covenant for the next three months it may not be for everybody but it's part of the preparation to birth and if you may even be a businessman that's what will surprise you and say god go and talk to them apostle and the rest and leave me in peace i thought you would teach me how to make money he's preparing you because when those billions come demons will say where did the money go to and they will follow your business and say we are here the king of tyre just found out that something left heaven and did not pass through him to you and so they will have to come and vet and so god can tell a businessman for three months you are not talking money with god you are fasting and praying and building capacity afterwards a door of business will open and by the time people think you are just wearing suit and tie they do not know that by sacrifice you brought yourself into the fivefold ministry ladies and gentlemen i want to show you what separates men from boys there are many people who do not want to pay the price it is a language that our ignorant sadly an arrogant generation does not want to hear sharp sharp everything it is only god that will tell you the amount of times i've finished this bible you are seeing my former bible you open it and you will think there's writing everywhere sometimes i will write all kinds of things there because you are studying to show yourself approved that's why you see me quote scriptures and i can tell you what another version says you try it if you think it's a gift it's not a, you know we have this idea that god just magically endowed you no the grace i'm not downplaying the grace of god i hope you get what i'm saying you want to command power authority over nations you are going to have to stay with god are you ready to invest it with the spirit you don't have a track record with the holy ghost listen to me you come out like this just playing games and for show you will only embarrass yourself for nothing it says but i know whom i have believed you came here tonight not just to meet god alone but you came here to meet men whose blood are dripping upon the altar. He said, let no man trouble me, for I bear upon my body. There is a scar that the realm of the spirit knows. Jesus I know, Paul I know, Joshua Selman I know. You, it's, it's with blood you sign that signature. He that cometh unto God, must come believing that he is the rewarder while you are fasting you know the rewarder is watching you while you are praying the rewarder is watching you somebody says come and bribe and become a director and you say no and for that reason your children pay the price for one year the rewarder is watching can i tell you if you do not know the rewarder compromise will look pleasant if you do not know the rewarder all these cutting corners in ministry you can stay even if it's with five people with joy i know the rewarder is watching you are training the five people as if you are preaching in a stadium mentoring them because those five people are not your members they are your leaders you are training when your leaders are trained members can now come are we together development is difficult it took jesus 18 years to be ready for ministry 18 1 8 18 years of actively building himself ladies and gentlemen it's time for us to throw away premature manifestation and premature exposure and get back to the place where men are made made for their destinies are we together now the stage is not for rehearsal the stage is for manifestation if you want to rehearse go to the wilderness you will be given a chance to kill the lion don't come and stand before goliath to try trial and error will destroy you goliath is not playing games 
learn with the lion learn with the bear and master the art of war when you stand before Goliath it is one one opportunity to bring him down listen you must master the mysteries of the presence of God you must master the mysteries of the anointing you must master the mystery of dominion. You must master the mysteries of influence. You must master the mysteries of the word of God. People will not just come and listen to you like that. Businessman, what have you read about business? Do you know the best people in your industry? Have you humbled yourself to learn from them? Or you are wallowing in the pride of saying everybody is a colleague. Run away from colleague mentality. That's what has kept many people down in this our arrogant generation. Just because great men are humble does not mean they are stupid. Know where you stand and draw the line with honor. No matter how humble our fathers are, sometimes a particular father of faith, I will not mention the name, but when we have the privilege of talking, sometimes you can say, ah, yeah, you know, I'm speaking to an apostle now. And I just laugh. I say, ah, daddy, don't, don't say that. Oh, he's still your boy. And we're laughing. Most of you, as they say that kind of thing, you carry it as a compliment. That a, a pastor is speaking to an apostle. What, what, what foolish indoctrination. These are men who, their tears move heaven. And heaven will say, who is making you cry? Is someone learning? You own a school. It's time to stop clapping for yourself and sit down. How can I make it the best? How can this be the greatest? You own a business. You are in ministry. It's time to stop. You, you cannot be going up and down every, every program, every show you are there. Jumping from pillar to post and you want the anointing to work in your life? No. Samuel was called a seer. You didn't see him out every time but when Samuel came out people would know that God is about to say something because this guy has come out most of us have cheapened ourselves because you are everywhere doing everything hallelujah when others are sleeping you wake up in the night father for the sake of my destiny i love you but you are a rewarder i came from a family where no one has risen and i heard my parents tell me that they tried i have made up my mind that i will be that savior lord for the next seven months it is two hours with you every night while you are doing that you are in your small room don't worry the rewarder is watching the rewarder is watching I sense in my spirit that God gave me this message because in this season the rewarder is going to move again move from family to family move from ministry to ministry there are some of you hear me you have served for a very long time and it looks like nobody has noticed you I'm telling you prophetically do not feel bad I'm saying this by the spirit of the living God the rewarder is going to have a convocation and say I remember you paid the school fees of a young man in 2015 nobody saw you to say thank you but I have come as a rewarder that your children will never beg again because of what you have done hear me when God wants to schedule a season of reward the first thing he does is to put something in your hand Exodus chapter 4 give it to us please Exodus 4 and verse 2 I hope I got that right yes this was the encounter Exodus 4 and verse 2 and the Lord said unto Moses what is that that is in your hand there is always something in your hand that will be used to make your influence. Moses, you are about to be greatly magnified by God. That rod. And when you read the verses after he said to throw that rod on the ground, you must cast that rod and worship God with it. Until that rod is handed over to God to refine it. Now go to verse 17. Same Exodus 4 and verse 17. He said, Thou shalt take this rod in your hand, wherewith thou shalt do signs. It was in your rod before, but nothing was upon it to do signs. Same rod, 
now with the anointing upon it you can do signs same gift of singing sometimes i watch this my precious people as they worship as they sing and all the, the lovely people who just sang and i'm looking at them and you know i keep praying that god will grant them the grace to keep building because you see the value of the anointing is that it comes upon a prepared vessel let me say it again the value of the anointing is that it comes upon a prepared vessel when god calls you he files you before anointing you most people want the anointing to come upon the unrefined version of them while you wait for power make sure you tarry in jerusalem praying while you wait for power make sure you are not idle keep working on your leadership skills while you wait for the anointing keep working on your human relation skills while you wait for the anointing keep working to understand the dynamics of ministry while you wait for the anointing keep studying to be an excellent preacher while you wait for the anointing you want to become a leader by excellence you want to become an educator you want to become a business person while you wait for the anointing don't sit down and fold your arms wake up in the night buy the books go online don't watch nonsense go online find valuable materials that relate to your destiny all those exercises are you preparing for the ministry of the rewarder but i can tell you the rewarder will always come that's why you find out that ordinary men get to seasons where it looks like god just gives them visibility and then we erroneously say they came from nowhere there is nobody who comes out from nowhere hallelujah today i look at what god has graciously done in my life and i'm truly humbled my prayer is that god will use my life to inspire a generation more than just planting pride to help people know that spending time to market yourself is a total waste of time your marketing is to build your value i'm saying this because something is going to come on someone shortly i'm going to pray some prayers for you and for your destiny there are doors remember we're dealing with opening of doors he said the gift of a man makes room for him so when it's time for God to end the cycle of poverty in your family, it's not just the Esther anointing is going to drop. Before the Esther anointing arrives, listen carefully, he will now isolate at least one person who begins to get angry with that situation and say, Lord, things cannot continue like this. We can't continue living from hand to mouth. Our daughters and our sons will not keep prostituting themselves because they are looking for money. Lord, I will learn God's way of doing this. And God will plant a passion in that person. And he will begin to listen to tapes and teachings. The rewarder is watching. Remember, the more he's building himself, the more she's building herself, enduring the temptation for all kinds of compromises, preparing yourself for a great life. And after 10 years, the person will be running an organization that is multi-billion and people will say i used to know you you are right but not that version anymore not that version anymore not that version anymore can i tell you when it has to do with refining your potentials so that you schedule the seasons of reward don't spare yourself don't let your tears. We live in a generation that is excessively obsessed with comfort. We love comfort too much. Listen, comfort is when you have arrived, not when you are starting. A young man is about to start life and he wants a comfort of a veteran. He sits down with a 50, 60, 70 year old man and he wants the same kind of treatment. No, sir. Apostle, I got a job. They are just giving me 50,000 and I have to trek for 30 minutes. Go and ask parents who trek from one community to one community to go to a, a secondary school. For the man to become the professor that you see that he is today, he had to trek and with joy. It was even an honor for him that he could go to school. But our generation today, there are people who can have access. You can just walk 10 minutes, 20 minutes to a church. And you will sit down and follow online because of sheer laziness and then want a, a, a solid impartation to come upon you and then God will trust you with the destinies of men globally it doesn't work that way hallelujah 
my dear people are here sometimes i go online and i listen to their songs when i listen to their songs i call them and i say this thing you sang congratulations from a spiritual standpoint i was touched but from a technical standpoint this and this and this is a mistake go and do it again go back to the studio walk again don't say i don't have money the money you got as honorarium is not for buying clothes go and invest in your mind the one for clothes will come go and invest in your mind can i tell you there are many of you right now what you have around you is what has made your head empty because the money god gave you was supposed to be for your head you denied your head of an opportunity to be rich in knowledge and you kept creating a semblance of success whereas there was nothing there it is better for people to know you have nothing physically but that they can appreciate the investment of god's grace how long did it take pharaoh to decorate joseph they didn't decorate his mind decorating your body can happen in one day I know the cloth does not look very nice, but you just invest in your spirit and your mind. The day the person sent to appreciate your value comes by God. That person can take you shopping in one day and buy your whole destiny for you. Jesus I decree and declare right now every devil of darkness that has plagued anyone watching by television watching by the internet from our Zaria family our global family all the overflows down to this auditorium in the name of Jesus Christ and by the power that raised Christ from the dead I command that spirit to give way now I decree and declare every sickness heart conditions be healed now yeah. cancer be healed now yeah. HIV be healed now yeah. kidney conditions lung conditions be healed now yeah. blood related conditions be healed now yeah conditions be healed now ear conditions be healed now everyone here who has been bound by any spirit I lose you now I lose your family now I lose every member of your family now anyone here and those watching who has been appointed unto death in the name of Jesus Christ we declare the fullness of your days you fulfill and anyone here who is particularly in ministry serving the purposes of the kingdom from tonight I forbid you from being barren as you communicate the gospel in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ with great power you will bear witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ genotypes every negative genotype be changed right now in Jesus name barrenness be healed now Hepatitis be healed now. Pile be healed now. Peptic ulcer be healed now. Bone related conditions be healed now. Those who are watching from any hospital or any point where you have a patient let the power of God on this resurrection day move through the airwaves and touch that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ now let me pray for you for all of you who are here from today 
I stand in the name of Jesus and I empower your hands. I release you as proof producers. I release you as miracle workers. I release you as signs and wonders. In ministry, in business, in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, from today, you will no longer wait until you come for koinonia. Become an extension of these possibilities. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, let me challenge you. When you go back home, go and meet those who are sick and take a step of faith and lay your hands on them. Don't say, I cannot do it. Lay your hands. If your loved ones tell you, just remember, I have been raised up with Christ. Just remember, the Spirit of God lives in me. That the resurrected King has resurrected everything in me. I am in every way supernatural. When someone tells you, I am going through something, don't just say, meet apostle. Don't just say, come for koinonia. Beyond that, take a step of faith. You are an ambassador, a validator, a witness. Carry this mentality today. Hallelujah. And as you do that in the name of Jesus, may the Lord use you to rewrite the history of the lives of men. May the Lord bless you. This week beginning, I declare that you will experience the power of God like never before. May the mighty and marvelous hand of Jesus rest upon you. I release you as a validator of the resurrection. You will go and you will return with results. I've had the opportunity to go to hospital and, for other and to see people. I remember the most recent, I think it was sometime last year, went to see one, went to see one of our ladies. And I went there, close to her bed, I watched somebody die. I watched it, the process. I, at that point, all your greed follows you to the grave. All your seeds that have refused to be given, like the rich fool, the consequences of not using your resources. He said, this day, he sat down and built a barn and put the money and said, my soul, you have money in GT Bank. You have money in Zenith. You have real estate. You are a millionaire. Find rest. And God says, thou fool, your soul today, today will be required of you. Money does not follow men to the grave. Hmm. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Pay attention and leave. Can you know that your life will be great? Oh, I'm standing today now. One shoe, one bag, one room, one stove, one pot. But I'm sowing my way. Is there a guarantee that tomorrow this loss will work for me? And then I will be the one to be able to turn back and be a blessing. Ask me. I have the answer. That's how we rose. That's why when people are bragging and saying we are this, we are the intellectuals, Harvard this, we went to this, some of us know how we came. We served our way through the mercy of God. And look what God has done today. Do you know why it is marvelous in our eyes? Because it is the Lord's doing. If it's a man's doing, it's too small to be marvelous in your eyes. You are marvelous here. You are marvelous here. You are marvelous here. Marvelous here. Marvelous. That's what men will begin to say about your life. That you are marvelous here. You are marvelous here. You are marvelous. allow any man despise you you may not have it now but you are walking your way sister you don't need to prove to anybody you can buy nothing the word of god will prove itself continue you may not have what it takes wear your one shoe honorably don't borrow anybody's shoe and try to prove any point there's too much truckload of proofs coming in the future i know you're a man of god you have only one type iron it with honor and so so into the kingdom.
don't buy suits you are not wise if you do that no i want to package myself so that i will look like apostle you are cheating yourself you won't look like me soon let me just tell you the truth you will between me and you is a ladder of obedience you will have to climb it diligently and by the grace of god my job is to shorten your journey not take it away that journey is there you will walk it that's why i don't pity people when they cry sometimes it's good to let the tears roll i love you but i cannot stop your journey i can only reduce it so sometimes people cry and say apostle nothing is working and they think i will clean the tears i say no let it flow because to, if it does not flow you will not clean somebody's own it's not wickedness there are times i've seen people in situations i want to bless them and the lord said no don't interrupt what i'm doing in their life they are, I'm, I'm showing them something and i'm saying lord but they know i can help them say no no i'm teaching them trust just like it's happening to someone right now every door of your helpers have closed god is saying it's deliberate don't even try to pray for open doors because i'm the one closing it to teach you i'm teaching you how to rejoice in the storm i'll praise you in the storm remember i will lift my hands you are who you are no matter where i am every tear that falls you hold in your hands listen let me tell you something i'm preaching a message to you now koinonia don't be ashamed of your tears let it flow let everyone see you cry so that when you rejoice they will say you cheated you followed the laws you cried mommy you may cry but cry in faith cry honorably as you sow the seed there is he that weepeth bearing precious seeds i remember the day the lord asked me to sow 80 percent of my clothes everything 80 percent 80 percent of everything before then he had asked me to give everything i've shared with you the testimony 2007 in port Harcourt, i carried everything i had home and abroad plus the rechargeable lantern that was all i had laid my hands and prayed on it for three hours dragged it to church then god decided to disgrace me i was in the overflow outside when people were giving god said i should sit down when people were now giving cars and lands when they finished god said you can now go i was moving ladies were looking at me guys were looking at me but i was looking at my future oh yes i was oh yes i was and i went and dropped that thing the bag was not i don't even know what they did with it when they dropped that back i went back and sat down i did it for his house and the lord spoke to me and said my son from today you have entered wealth men walk by mysteries my mother is one of the happiest people around it's not just because we're alive it's because of the quality of the children she has we're discussing with her today i bless my parents till the day jesus comes till the day jesus comes without faith whether they obey scriptures or not i am obedience to them the same way the priests they, they receive tithe on behalf of the levites have received it for them may you do that for your parents so may your obedience today make your parents live long so that you will take away this stress that is killing parents young now you see a parent 70 years they can't walk because the son at 40 is still coming mommy please can you borrow me hundred thousand i say how much is my pension he said just give me are you determined to be exempted we are going to pray sister take my message seriously barrenness is still real barrenness does not just come on bad ladies who live wayward lives there are sincere people you can start exempting yourself now don't wait until the day you get married and try and try and try and nothing happens gentleman don't wait until the day a landlord harasses you you say i'll start giving start now don't wait and say apostle but i've, I've not i'm not even in a relationship that's a good time to start sowing that seed your seeds can go ahead of your future lord i carry this sacrifice it's for you for you. 
ask Ejimi, he's a witness. What did I do with all my scholarships? Not once did I. I was on two scholarships. I was on mobile. I was on total final elf then they used to call it. Then there was no GT bank in Zaria. We we'll go to Kaduna and cash it. Ask him. He's a witness. Everything went for the kingdom. Other people were buying laptop. They were buying this. I used my scholarship for the kingdom. Behind every story, every glory, there is a story. Don't just sit down desiring men's results. This is what, this covetousness in the body of Christ. Oh God, I like a Jimmy's watch. I like this. I like Pastor Alpha's shoe. Stop those things. That that's not how to claim. You claim through obedience. Obedience. We are really going to pray seriously. Because I want you to be exempted. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. The danger that looms around. There is real danger. Psalm 91 tells us. There is danger on your children. Born or unborn. From the womb now children get mysteriously sick. Father does not have that sickness. Mother does not have that sickness. From that period of conception to delivery the child comes out with one kind of nonsense i remember one of our ladies who gave birth to one baby he later died you know i remember them meeting me they gave birth to the baby the baby was an imbecile you know nothing neck will not move hand will not move nothing and i remember the pain the mother used to go through i went back to god and i said lord what happened what happened and then i told him i said look sacrifice is the last bus stop in this kingdom when all else fail you sacrifice is a master key it will tear that heaven open i show you a mystery there are times i've come to certain places that i know some doors will not open i prayed they didn't open i fasted they didn't open and i reached out through intelligence i took seeds that shook heaven and i swung those doors open and solomon loved the lord and Solomon said, gather me 1,000 animals. They said, sir, are you dashing people? He said, don't ask me any question. Bring knife. Slaughter them. Number one. Number two. He said, spill the blood. There was a field. God kept watching. He said, let's watch how far he will go. When he got to 500, he didn't stop. God said, my God, what is this? Who is this man? Who gave him this kind of heart to sacrifice? Immediately, God came to him and said, Solomon, you called me sacrifice has a voice it can call God I'm telling you a mystery some of you are in situations right now your education cannot bring you out it will not bring you out you are in a situation where you are about to break through something the pastor your family with all his anointing did not was not exempted from that trouble bad luck people rise to certain levels the moment they reach there they crash you are number seven out of 13 people. Nobody's walking. And you say, I got first class. You better switch. There is a mystery of exemption. Everybody that married in your family, the lifespan of the marriage was four years. They prayed in tongues, the marriage is scattered because there is a spirit covenanted authoritatively. It takes sacrifice. I have done this for myself. I have done this for koinonia hi brothers and sisters you are sitting on blood you are not just sitting on chairs you are sitting on tears you are sitting on sacrifices that brought you that's what brought you here it's not joshua selman's revelation sacrifice many people cannot do this thing it's hard that's why very few are exempted I never told you it would be easy. I won't lie to you. There is she that weepeth. There are things this man has done. There are sacrifices. I remember one time, I'm sorry I'm having to say it. He carried a seed together with his wife. And I knew this was a serious seed. There are people here who have done it. Sacrifices unto death. A kind of sacrifice that when you finish, you say, God, I hope this thing is right. I hope it works. I told you about my mother. My mother almost brought tears out of my eyes. I think it was towards the end of last year. She said her death will. My mother said if she dies, 
any benefit that will come they should transfer it to koinonia a woman alive covenanting her will for god where is the devil that will kill her that's the realm when you say for for me to live is christ and to die is king. listen we rise in this kingdom through sacrifice we exempt ourselves through sacrifice strange sacrifice i have watched it open doors for me i have watched it open doors for people great men that you see in this nation the secret is not just the sacrifice of prayer their seeds have gone if I tell you I don't practice this, I, you, I, 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 those close to me know. I am a bank of walking seeds. Nothing just stays idle. I send it to my future. I send it fast. I may cry sending it. Hallelujah. I was talking to a Jimmy and I was telling him, I said, I have so much recharge card in my phone, I don't know what to do. He asked me how much. I said, 41,000. What will I do with a recharge card? My phone loaded with 41,000. One naira is not from me. One naira is not from me. What will I do with it? You are not ready for blessings till your seed speaks. Oh, you mean you are enjoying? No. No. When blood touches the earth, heaven must answer. Who said your family will never be rich? There is this cause of poverty. If you have been giving, you just give 10,000, 10, give 10 naira. You are not ready to move. Oh, let me tell you the truth. There is a day you come and say, Lord, my children, I serve idols. My father served idols. It was in idolatry I gave my life to Christ. I have not even stabilized my stand. I know these altars are fighting me. Therefore, I lift up a fortification. Gather unto me my saints. Psalm 50 verse 5. Please give it to us. They that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. A covenant with me by sacrifice. Listen. You are at a phase in your life where you should not pity money. Listen. Listen to me. Wasteful spending is bad. But fearful spending is demonic. You don't spend your money buying shoes. Spend your money breaking altars. Spend your money breaking covenant. Leave all those shoes. Don't be foolish. They will come. Prove any point to anybody. Lord, I have watched my elder brother rubbish. I watched my elder sister. She got married and got mad this first day. This will not happen. Oh, I know it will not happen because I'm in Koinonia. If you don't do what Koinonia people are doing, you will be surprised. I'm showing you the secrets. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you. They will sit with you like this and tell you they are coming to jail you. Coming to take you to prison. Coming to take you to this. You cannot pay your rent. Your sacrifice. That's when you will see that sacrifice is powerful. There is a lady, I don't know if she testified. I have the text message in my phone. I shared it with you, Jimmy. Two days ago, her mother practically died. And the girl said, no, 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 no way. And she called, I think she may be a worker or so. She sent a text. I told her to come and share it by herself. I don't know if she was a worker or whatever. And do you know, this lady said, she said, Kai, I can't use my faith again. Everything went bad. And she sent me a text. You know what she sent? She said, Apostle, I can't use faith. I use the covenant you have with God. Do you know what I did? I put the text. I told you, Jimmy, what I did. I put the text and I threw it on my bed. I said, Lord, look at what this lady said. Her mother came back to life yesterday. Yesterday. The text is still in my phone. Take over. Take over, Lord, I come to the end. Jehovah, I have touched the end of us. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of us.
the end of greed. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come. Listen, listen, till today they serve idols in my village. Till today they serve idols in my village. With the reign of Christianity, you are not the first to have causes. I told you demons used to oppress me. As a man of God, anointed, healing the sick, I went to pastors. I said, what is this thing that demons come to press me in the night? They said, I don't have faith. I said, what is faith? I've done everything they define faith to be. Brothers and sisters, there are certain altars that after you have prayed, I wish what I'm telling you is a lie. I know you are in Christ, but I show you the mysteries behind the pain of men. There are some seeds alone that will break some altars and smash it to pieces. And in one year, one year, when it was time to save man, Jesus Christ, God did not make a pronouncement. He dragged his son. When the son went to Golgotha, when his blood dripped, that's why no power, the only power that can overcome God is the power that can give a son with that same condition. Any other deity that can turn a God to become a son and sacrifice him will have more power than God. He looked around the heavens and found no one greater and he swore by himself. The seed shall bruise the head. The seed. Please look at me. Look at me. If I have preached and I have told you a lie, may a curse come upon me and my children that are unborn. If I have manipulated you for any gain, listen, I don't care who you are, how old you are, what you read. If you want to rise above witchcraft in this life, you want to rise and match the head of the devil it's not just your prayer and your voice there is he that weepeth you don't just drop money like that the sacrifice is not in the money it's the value on you and tie it with an expectation Lord they say my womb will not open you have seen three of your sisters barring you are there jumping up and down and saying I am they are, they are not barring because they are devils they just do not understand the mystery of exemption. Koinonia is sitting upon this mystery. That's why you see us rising by His grace. Those who don't understand will just think, Oh, these people are just lucky. There's no luck in this thing. Oh. There's no luck in this thing. You were engaging. There is a mystery. There is a mystery that exempts men from all of these vicissitudes of life please i want you to believe it in the name of the lord god of heaven and open up yourself because we are going to do some serious prayers this night is not a night to just joke around we came to pray within the few minutes we have to pray i like you to pray remember we're exempting ourselves rise up on your feet and in the next five minutes i want you to blast in tongues as though one who is ready for exemption Lord, it can't continue like this. Lord, my family cannot continue like this. Pray! Ha 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 
pray the Lord will honor you you are in the presence of the mighty one you are accessing secrets that will exempt you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Say it loud as and serious. Please be serious. Say, Lord Jesus. The yoke of suffering. Say the yoke of suffering, the yoke of hardship upon my family and upon my life. I command that it be lifted tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lift it out of your life. There is such a yoke upon family. Doesn't matter whether you are working or not doesn't matter whether you are in business or not you keep blaming other people whereas the trouble is from you come on believers pray come on believers pray so pray to Ebratala soto preke shele barala bala. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. I want you to pray three major areas in your life where that exemption must show immediately listen there are many areas choose three areas in your life and pray this is an instruction pray it with your heart mention it lord this unfruitfulness this 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 my family mention them if it's your finances and blast in tongues and say it must leave it must leave <laughs> Prophesy. Prophesy. His ears are open. Prophesy. His ears are open. Prophesy. His ears are open. Prophesy. Exemption in this year of trial, I provoke it. In this year of trial, I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to pray and say, Lord, the attachment I have to money, the attachment I have to material things that will not let me sacrifice, take it away from my life. Please pray. You really need that separation. Canality. 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 Attachment to money, attachment to material things that will not allow you to release resources. The fear of lack, the fear of resources finishing. Cause it, cause it. Malakata prasta da barado sobre, ende prata la koto sobre iskaria. 
Everything given to God multiplies. It does not diminish. Everything given to God multiplies. It does not diminish. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I want to challenge you to do something. This is not my culture, but I want to challenge you. Whatever seed you have, anything, maybe some financial resources, you can help somebody with it if you have more. It's not about, you always hear me say this, it's not we're a very blessed ministry. I say it with all humility. We are a very, very, very blessed ministry. His grace has been faithful. So this is not about money. But if, if you have something that you can connect with, please that no matter how small, no matter how little, connect with something. I want to pray a prayer. I want to pray a prayer. Connect with something. Help somebody. Don't sit down greedily saying I don't know him. Take over. Over, I have come to the end of my step. Take over, jump over. I have touched the end of my step. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I have come to the end of my step. Hallelujah! Sweetheart, come. I have come to the end of my life. Take over, jump over. I have come to the end of my life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Finance department, somebody, a representative, should stand for Koinonia in this prayer we are praying. Because we are also a ministry that believes the word. So we are not just telling people to do it. Stand on behalf of the ministry. We are all going to so I want to pray. And the seed shall bruise the head of the serpent. I want to pray. Please, listen. Don't give anything foolishly. Don't give anything emotionally. Are we together? Don't just carry your phones and give emotionally and carry. Please make sure everything you do is based on understanding. You don't have a seed, you are not going to hell. Are we together? If you don't have a seed, you can touch, make contact with somebody who has a seed. That way at least it can help. It's not, it's not about money, brothers and sisters. This is one of the biggest mysteries behind the life of this man you see standing before you. My life is a fountain of blood that drips. You don't kill a dead man. A sacrifice already killed him. I have enjoyed the blessings of God in my life. I have seen doors open in strange ways. I have seen access Many people think it's because I'm a man of God. No. It's because of the principle of the word. I want to pray for you. Lord Jesus, we stand before you tonight in total faith. You are teaching us in this house the mystery of exemption. And Lord, you have taught us how kingdom service can exempt men. We are not doing this emotionally. We are not doing this to coerce ourselves. But Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We decree and declare. That by this seed, I prophesy upon lives, upon destinies from tonight, a dimension of
breakthrough you have never seen i release it upon you right now in the name of the lord jesus christ i declare that any charm any altar any pronouncement any yoke i don't care how long it has lingered around your life you have prayed it has refused to go you have fasted it has refused to go you even danced and it refused to go i prophesy may your seed answer tonight may your seed answer tonight lord according to psalms 50 verse 5 he said gather unto me my saints they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice i pray if i be sent of god i stand O god upon this altar in the name of jesus as you are holding this seed i command judgment in the camp of the enemy judgment right now in the camp of the enemy may the fire fall on your seed 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 the lord god that answers by fire the god of elijah that descends upon the sacrifice in the name of jesus as it burns this sacrifice it burns every altar as it burns this sacrifice it burns every charm it burns every pronouncement it burns every pronouncement therefore by this seed i prophesy be exempted from death be exempted from luck be exempted from struggling be exempted from this favor be exempted I don't care how it has been in your family by this seed i change the patterns tonight i change the patterns tonight i change the patterns tonight everything called dead in your life everything that has refused to resurrect in your life everything keeping you at the same level you are growing older but you are not moving the truth is you are not making progress the last three years you have been at the same place i push you forward now by the power of prophecy i push you forward now i push you forward now anyone here already marked for death Cain said this punishment is too much I don't care what law you broke I don't care what access you gave the devil it was Cain that said my punishment is too much he said any man that sees me any poverty that sees me anything that sees me will slay me and God said I put a mark I prophesy upon you right now let me tell you some of you will feel a physical hand a physical hand upon your forehead putting a mark in the name of jesus i invoke the covenant of this office that i stand upon i invoke the covenant of this office that i stand if i be a man of god at the count of three let that mark come upon men one two three take it take it that mark of exemption that mark of exemption over death over poverty over disfavor over closed heaven i shall put a separation 
between those that serve him and those that do not serve him. Where your personal faith has, has failed and is limited, where your prayer life is limited, I boost your resolve by the sacrifice upon this altar. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you receive results you know are bigger than you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore I declare, whatever close the heavens over you, so that nothing to celebrate comes. You are serving God, but there's nothing to say God has been faithful. I decree and declare, in the name of Jesus, before miracle service next week, as surely as the God of heaven lives, return with laughter. Return with strange laughter. Return with strange laughter. Hallelujah. I pray for every family represented here. Let me tell you, listen. Whenever you pray, never forget our families. Because many families are in big trouble. Big. It's only individuals that have been exempted. No matter how you rise, if things are not okay for your people, you are still in trouble. Are we together? Because their envy will kill you and draw you down. If out of a family of 15 people, you are the only one who rises alone, get set for trouble. You are ready to pay the school fees of 14 people, you are ready to take care of children that you cannot account for. Therefore, I pray, as the seed speaks for you, let it grow wings and extend to your family members. Let it grow wings and extend to your family members. In the name of Jesus Christ, uncommon favor, uncommon unction, uncommon anointing, uncommon help, Receive it in the name of Jesus. Glad it went. It would have been the only one I still have till now. The mother, alongside other women in Lagos, mobilized welfare packages. Remember? And they brought all of that. I remember that time, Aaron, we went with two luxurious buses when we were going to for the for the crusade in Abuja. How they mobilized it, I do not even know. We're praying and planning. Bless you and thank you, Jimmy. So don't be surprised when his children are intelligent and happy. He served his way to that. His children will never beg for bread, not when I'm alive. Even if he decides to be careless with his life, it's too late. Not when I'm alive. If he decides today that I will never do anything kingdom again together with his wife, I say, I, I, I agree to, for you to be an extra luggage in my life. Let's keep going. When we are talking about Koinonia 10 years from now, will your name be mentioned? No, 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 don't say, don't say, this is not an issue of amen. I'm asking you a serious question. Will you say, will you say, listen, listen, will you say, this speaker, came because my seed was there oh i remember the tie that this gentleman used right people giving their hearts and their lives graduates standing as if they are foolish you think these guys are idiots for just standing like this working some of them have come from their various workplaces and it's evening there are people who come in every week from other states it's a sacrifice see let me tell you the, the moment you find yourself complaining about the house of God know that that spirit is there to destroy you because everything God designs in the kingdom is for your good not for his good he's already self-sufficient don't forget El Shaddai he said if you will not praise me it is within my power to raise up stones God don't replace me I'm still available and I'm willing there is such a thing like replacement because now I neither hot or cold I will spew thee from my mouth for as long as I live I will not only praise God my resources must join me and praise God 
what use do I have having cars when the house of the Lord is not advanced real estate real nonsense the real estate is a kingdom estate traveling on vacation spending a million dollars over a week no except I've done something satisfactorily for the kingdom there is a minimum of amount of offering that I cannot give I will be wicked and unfair to God and to his faithfulness in my life if at this level he has brought me financially I give God certain levels of offering no there is an amount I trust God to get to a target of an amount that I give God never less than it if it is in your heart God will bring it in your heart if at this level I squeeze 1,000, I squeeze 2,000, give God as an offering. I'm a wicked person. How much do I eat with? How much are my clothes? And then the house of God, 2,000, 3,000, me? No. There are some of you as you are sitting here. God has lifted you. But your giving has remained. So your giving drew you back. Because he said, your giving told God you were not yet qualified. And God said, if your giving says, remain, I can't say you should rise. Remain. I have given dangerous seeds in my life. I have sown seeds on behalf of my parents for their longevity. I have sown seeds on behalf of my children unborn. I have sown seeds on behalf of this ministry. Ask those who know me, this ministry is a giving ministry. The economic system of koinonia is a crazy system. That's why many times I thank God for the way church runs. Because if it's America, I'm sure they would have sued us now. Say, no, 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 no. This and that and that. You sow that seed and God gives you faithful people. He may not give you money back, but He will give you one person that will reduce headache. There has not been any case in this ministry that has stabbed me of sleep. To say somebody just came and is stubborn. No. Parents, you can use sacrifice to bail every nonsense out of your children. When a woman gives birth, a man buys a jeep for her, which is wonderful. Right? When a child takes first position, they fly him to Hawaii. Rather than doing that, invest in his future first. And say, Lord, this is for my child. I buy this speaker for the house of God. Not nonsense. Not change. Not carry torn clothes and say, Lord, I give it in your house. You don't give God rubbish. No. You give God. I will not give God anything that will not cost me anything. I look forward to times, oh, God sees my heart. When, if I hear any church make noise, they want something. Before they say anything, it's provided. And God will open doors for you beyond your imagination. If your, if your purpose of financial prosperity is just to wear designers and fly private jets, it's too small a reason for God to rend the heavens and give you a blessing that you will not have room enough. Lord, if you're healing someone in this city, don't do it without me that's my prayer lord don't do it without me oh lord if you're changing someone in this nation please don't do it without me don't do it without me oh may may may, may it never come to a point in my life when my seed stops advancing the kingdom please tell me what else will i be doing with it servicing sickness servicing poverty as i'm speaking to you you see your greed rising you are trying to believe what i'm saying but your greed is fighting you i wish you would push this thing away no sir god wants to help you i show you the mysteries of blessings that people just rise up god has said it's the year of trial 
because you are still going to see people rise up in strange ways you will see it's already happening to people you are hearing testimonies of people and you're saying what exactly are they doing that they are rising because in the world system you have they have to show you the boss and the salary slip but this one the, the boss is invisible the business is by faith but the reward is the only thing you see don't do it without me don't do it without me sacrifice of your life your resources sometimes when i'm going for ministrations i'm so tired sleeping in the car or sleeping in the plane and i'm asking myself why why am i doing this do i have to do this and i just remember it's a privilege i take pleasure in worshiping i take pleasure in worshiping i take pleasure in worshiping you lord take my body my soul my money and breathe on me he has to take everything take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me listen if you give God your spirit, you give God your brain and leave your pocket, you are carnal and a liar. Because where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. Are we together? My life, my finances and every part of me is open for his scrutiny, his probing and his instructions any day, any time, without prior notice. Belongs to him. We are going to pray. You want to be exempted? There is a price. I know many of you just believe. I will just tell you. Be exempted in Jesus name. Brothers and sisters. There is a price. I won't lie to you. I fear God too much to deceive you. What is the disadvantage of not being exempted? Write it down. The disadvantage of not being exempted was in the scripture we considered with Cain. He said, all who see me will slay me. He didn't say all men, all things that see me will slay me. The disadvantage, the major disadvantage of not being exempted is that you become a victim of anything and everything. Write it down. You become a victim of anything everything although redeemed although potentially speaking you should not be a victim of those things but you become a victim of anything and everything without hope for recovery the bible says these people have been alienated from the life of god through ignorance it says having their understanding darkened they have been alienated from the life of god alienated from the life of God through ignorance listen it's a risk to give birth to a child and not know whether that child will live long or not it's too risk if you've lost a child I, I, my heart goes out to you don't feel bad but I'm telling you there is a way out please listen to me it's a risk not knowing that you come out today and go back remember there are those who have done it we are not the first to do it remember our song we are surrounded by many they have crossed this river there are men who have lived that long i looked at my father and my mother one time that i went to greet them and i was just smiling do you know one thing i know will keep my parents long thanksgiving if there is anything I've learned about my father, my father is a man who can thank God in a way that will annoy you. He would thank you. know how old people thank God? They thank God for things you consider to be silly. We young people say, please, if it's in the air you breathe, it's being, we thank God. Until the day you breathe through a tube for one month, you stay and breathe in and out. You my say, precious son, God bless you. We believe you've heard the word of the Lord from his servant. 
Apostle Joshua Selma. On this platform, Reflector Hub TV, we are committed to bringing you the very accurate word of the Lord. And in this month of February, I believe your faith has been stirred up. We'd like you to engage God's word with prayers. We'd like you to ensure that these words become reality in your life your family and all you set your hands to do is this a sickness is it an affliction a problem a challenge academical ministry relationship in marriage get them engaged with the word of the lord which you've heard and we trust the lord that a miracle will come to your way come to your life and if you are a new viewer we would like you to subscribe to reflector hub tv to keep in touch with us and don't forget to hit the notification bell and to also share this video with your loved ones your friends and your family and so that the miracles the blessings of the lord for the month of february will get to everyone god bless you so much we love you